Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And in today's video, we are not going to talk about anything. In fact, I'm going to be answering a very interesting question. So Megha Bhandari asks uh, this very interesting question on one of the comments on the YouTube. And she says, is it okay to cheat from the Google while writing the code? And this question is funny as well as interesting at the same time. So let's discuss about this in this video. <laughs> In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps, and everything related purely to the technical things and technical stuff. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now coming back on to the question, and we'll try to keep this video really short and sweet. And the question is very interesting. Is it okay to cheat from the internet while writing code? And I'll tell you my personal opinion about it, and then for sure we can discuss it in the comment section. Now I considered it perfectly okay and I would say it is more than okay to cheat from the Google. Now I would say why I think about it. Now when I write uh, a code to build up a project or maybe exercise files for the courses, uh, I look around on the web quite a lot. In fact recently I was designing a project and uh, before this project I have actually designed a project in the Node.js and that was completely using a lot of APIs. And when I moved into the React, again, I have to make a couple of requests on the web API. And uh, I actually completely forgot how to request a web API. Now, I know this sounds a little bit dumb, but yes, I completely forgot that. What did I did then? I simply went on to the Stack Overflow, looked onto the quick syntax and everything just reminded me there and I did a few edits and there we go, my web application was completely ready to make a web request to the API. Now, <laughs> leaving behind the complete technicalities there, it is completely okay to cheat out there. Now, in fact, you are not cheating. This is called as something taking a reference from because you are aware of the things. And obviously, if you'd be cheating about how to declare the variable or the stuff, life would not be much more easier for you. In fact, you should be cheating around when uh, you need to look up for a couple of concepts. Maybe you forgot how to generate a random number, or maybe you forgot to how to generate an API request there or a web request there, then it's completely okay to look around here and there because obviously you have to rewrite that code particularly and you have to change a few variables, few constant and make, it, make that code uh, usable for yourself. So I consider that it's completely okay. In fact, if not more than that, but at least 80 to 90% of the programmer look around quite a lot on the Stack Overflow and that's actually how the programming is being done. If you are thinking that, hey, some programmer is generating all the things from his mind, uh, that's not at all even possible. Everybody here and there or some point of time looks around for the Stack Overflow. Now, what I will tell you on top of that as well is when you write a lot of code, a lot of things just becomes kind of a practice for you. Like for example, when I make a lot of code in the Swift and most of the apps that I have built up uses a table view there. So writing the code for table view is just like a secondary to me. I can just do that uh, on the go or maybe just after waking up. So I can do that quite a lot. But in fact, if I have to make a web request or maybe use a sound drivers there, uh, then it would be a little bit tricky for me. So I'll look around for the web for the references or maybe looking around for the documentation. So on a whole, let's wrap this up. And I would say that, uh, yes, it's completely okay to cheat around. I do completely agree that I do it quite a lot. I look out the reference for CSS. I use websites like CSSTricks.com. And this, that is one of my favorite blogs there. For the rest of the things, I like to use Stack Overflow quite a lot. I'm very active there, uh, searching the questions, answering the questions, and a lot of stuff like that. So this was my overview about that. And just on to a quick note there, all the people who are still watching is I'm very soon going to uh, launch a separate video about Q&A, question and answer. And I'll be picking up the questions from this video. So if you have any special question and I'll be picking up a few questions from this video only. So make sure you put down your question and I'll pick you up along with your name. I'll give you full attributes there and I'll try to answer your question. 
And I know this video was not that much enthusiastic because I was a little bit tired. Uh, it was quite a busy day from 10 to 1 I was working on the desk then uh, just in half an hour break then from uh, almost uh, one and a half or maybe from two o'clock uh, I was working till six then hitting the gym now I'm back in here so it's a little bit tiry day and still I have to work almost three to four days so life is sometime not that much good but again just sharing some thoughts. So I hope you have enjoyed this video quite a lot in case you think that this video can be useful give it a thumbs up and in fact don't forget about the Q&A section. We are going to have a very interesting Q&A section. So make sure you put down your question there and I'll pick up your question. And the very next video that we'll be doing is going to be all about Q&A and I'll be answering all of your questions one by one.